could a common vitamin that countless people consume daily actually be harmful? Picture a scenario where you innocently consume a supplement, only to find yourself rushed to the emergency room due to severe kidney damage. Today, we're delving into the story of a 55-year-old woman and what exactly happened to her. Stay tuned for an in-depth exploration of the situation and valuable tips to prevent similar errors. In December 2022, a 55-year-old woman with kidney disease was urgently taken to the emergency department. She exhibited signs of extreme weakness, a slow heart rate, noticeable swelling, and an alarmingly low body temperature of just 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Doctors promptly examined her creatinine levels due to concerns about a possible deterioration of her kidney condition. The results were truly remarkable. Her serum creatinine levels had increased dramatically to 3,530 mg per dl, a number that was much higher than it had been just two months earlier. It became evident that her kidneys were deteriorating rapidly, urine production ceased, and her body became inundated with harmful substances. Consequently, she was swiftly transferred to the intensive care unit and immediately started on dialysis. The medical team was intrigued by the sudden decrease in her kidney function. Through thorough testing, they were able to pinpoint the unexpected source, a widely used vitamin supplement that is taken by many individuals on a daily basis. Surprisingly, this seemingly innocent supplement had a devastating impact on her health. Over-the-counter vitamin supplements can sometimes pose a greater risk than prescription medications. There are five vitamins that can be especially dangerous if not used correctly. Today, I'll be talking about the potential dangers of specific vitamins for individuals with kidney disease. It's important to be cautious about the supplements you choose to support your kidney health, as completely avoiding all vitamin supplements can have negative effects. This incident is just one example of a larger trend of hospitalizations, resulting from improper vitamin supplementation. Recently, a TikTok influencer experienced the unfortunate side effect of developing kidney stones after taking vitamins to enhance her immune system. In the past year, a 61-year-old man experienced intense pain that was initially thought to be pancreatitis, but was later found to be caused by his vitamin supplements. There was a concerning incident where a patient suffered from persistent vomiting, intense leg cramps, and a significant weight loss of 28 pounds within a month due to excessive consumption of a vitamin. Unfortunately, this resulted in severe damage to the patient's kidneys. It is crucial to have a good understanding of the supplements you use, including the appropriate dosages and potential risks. These stories highlight the significance of being well-informed. Patients with kidney disease are especially susceptible due to their impaired kidney function, which hinders their ability to efficiently remove excess vitamins from their bodies. This can result in a potentially harmful buildup, which can further jeopardize their kidney health. It is important to emphasize the significance of understanding and properly utilizing vitamin supplements, particularly for individuals with kidney conditions. Patients can protect their kidneys from further damage by understanding these risks and carefully managing their supplement intake. If you're a frequent visitor, you probably already know how crucial it is to be careful when it comes to supplements particularly vitamins. Today, we'll explore five vitamins that have potential risks that are not commonly known. Certain substances can have negative effects if consumed in the wrong ways or amounts, and may be particularly dangerous for those with kidney issues. It's important to handle these vitamins with caution. Let's begin with vitamin D, starting with the least harmful and progressing to those with higher risks. Ranked at number five is vitamin D a crucial nutrient for kidney health, which may ring a bell as I've stressed its significance multiple times. It's important to be mindful of how much you consume. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble nutrient that can build up in the body if consumed in excess. This can potentially result in complications like hyperphosphatemia and hypercalcemia, which are serious conditions that can lead to arterial calcification. Acute kidney injury can sometimes occur as a result of elevated vitamin D levels. For a safer approach, it is advisable to consume vitamin D in moderate amounts, usually around 2,000 IU per day. It is also beneficial to combine it with 100 mg of vitamin K2 
and magnesium to help prevent arterial calcification. Discover an effortless way to safely maintain your vitamin D levels. It's important to share this information with anyone who has chronic kidney disease. Please consider sharing this video. Also, remember to give it a thumbs up to help spread the message. We've also made a video that provides in-depth information on the connection between vitamin D and kidney health. You can easily access it through the link above or in the description below. Discovering the potential risks linked to essential vitamins can be quite concerning, but staying informed is always preferable to the unfortunate outcomes that can result from being uninformed, like renal failure. By gaining a clear understanding of these risks, you can effectively safeguard your kidney health. In addition, there is another vitamin that requires careful handling, especially in its synthetic form, due to its potential for harm. Coming in at number four on our list of concerns is cyanocobalamin, which is the synthetic form of vitamin B12. Unlike its natural counterpart, methylcobalamin cyanocobalamin is produced through manufacturing processes for its affordability. This synthetic version is found in a variety of multivitamins, making it a popular choice among consumers. However, using it can be quite risky, especially for people with chronic kidney disease, CKD. Cyanocobalamin contains trace amounts of cyanide, which is suggested by its name. When kidney function is compromised, the body's ability to process and eliminate traces of cyanide becomes more challenging. For individuals with a decreased glomerular filtration rate, GFR, the clearance of cyanide is impaired, which can result in the accumulation of toxins and an accelerated decline in kidney function. Studies have shown that when high doses of cyanocobalamin are metabolized, small amounts of cyanide can be produced. This could potentially accelerate the decline in kidney function for individuals with CKD. For individuals with kidney issues, it is important to exercise caution and choose methylcobalamin as an alternative. For individuals with reduced kidney function, this natural form of vitamin B12 is a safer option. It is generally recommended to take a daily dose of 6 micrograms, especially for those following a plant-based diet. It's important to note that vitamin B12 is not easily absorbed in its synthetic form, which is why manufacturers often include high amounts of cyanocobalamin in these supplements, sometimes exceeding the recommended daily intake, RDI, by 100 times. These elevated levels are designed to ensure sufficient absorption, but they can also increase the chances of cyanide buildup in individuals with kidney impairments. It is crucial for individuals following a renal diet to ensure they are getting enough vitamin B12 to prevent deficiencies that can lead to serious health problems, such as vascular disease and anemia. Selecting the appropriate form and dosage is equally significant. Regularly lacking vitamin B12 can result in serious health issues, making it essential to supplement. However, it is important to approach it with caution to prioritize safety. Individuals, especially those with CKD, should carefully review their supplement labels to ensure they are taking methylcobalamin instead of cyanocobalamin. By taking this approach, individuals can steer clear of the potential dangers linked to cyanide, all while enjoying the advantages of vitamin B12, a vital nutrient for overall well being. Moving forward in our countdown, our third entry focuses on a commonly used vitamin that could potentially have serious health implications. Studies have found potential negative effects associated with vitamin E, alpha tocopherol, such as increased blood pressure and an elevated risk for stroke. These health issues can affect a wide range of people, including those with cancer, bone loss, higher cholesterol levels, and even kidney damage. Despite the potential risks, this vitamin remains in production and is utilized in a wide range of products. If you're a regular follower of this channel, it's important to avoid alpha tocopherol, the synthetic form of vitamin E. I always recommend avoiding vitamin E supplements if you have kidney disease. One problem with alpha tocopherol is its widespread availability in the market. It is included in a wide range of products, including supplements, nutrient-dense powders, drinks, and food items. Individuals with kidney disease face a heightened risk from this synthetic vitamin. There are potential benefits to consuming vitamin E in its natural form, 
It is widely recognized as a powerful antioxidant, and the importance of antioxidants in the management and treatment of kidney disease is growing. In my opinion, it is not advisable to take vitamin E supplements unless specifically prescribed by your healthcare provider, despite the potential benefits. It is especially important when dealing with the synthetic versions of the vitamin. Vitamin AI is ranked second on our list due to its potential dangers, which are even greater than those of synthetic vitamin E when it comes to the risk to kidney health. Ingesting high quantities of this essential nutrient can pose significant risks, particularly for individuals with chronic kidney disease, CKD. However, in most cases, it is beneficial and necessary for our health. Regular multivitamins that include vitamin A are not recommended for individuals with compromised kidney function. Products like Centrum, Smarty Pants, or Suina, which are commonly used in Europe, can pose potential risks in certain situations. One issue that arises is that when kidneys are damaged, they struggle to efficiently filter and remove excessive amounts of vitamin A from the body. Excessive intake of this vitamin can have serious consequences for your health, such as liver damage, birth defects, and accelerated kidney deterioration. Excessive intake of certain foods, particularly fish liver, is often associated with vitamin A toxicity. Although cases of acute kidney injury caused by dietary sources are uncommon, they serve as a reminder to exercise caution.